Hello friends, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about the Cosmic Warehouse, which is a jump chain supplement that was created by Quicksilver, the creator of the Pokemon Trainer jump document, and the person who standardized the format of jump chains, as well as created many influential and popular jump chains that are still in use today. The Pokemon Trainer jump document is intended to be the traditional first jump that people go to although there are a bunch of different first jumps that now exist most famously the generic first jump as well as other different jumps that anyone used to go to as their first jump i know that a fairly common fairly popular first jump is chronicle which is my favorite first jump i've also used generic cubicle jump as the first jump before and i've even used overlord um the game not the anime manga light novel thing that exists um as a first jump but in today's video we're going to be talking about the cosmic warehouse um while there is all of this expository text intended to tell something akin to a story where quicksilver the benefactor is giving you access to the cosmic warehouse what you really need to know right now is that the cosmic warehouse is twenty thousand square feet of empty space that is all yours to use traditionally it is given after someone completes their decade-long stay in the world of pokemon and then they will be given this and the basic body mod the basic body mod is another supplement that we are going to be looking at which determines your basic physical stats when you are at your absolute least powerful when you don't have access to your perks when you're doing a gauntlet um, which is a type of jump that follows slightly different rules from regular jumps. We'll be talking about gauntlets in their own video at some point in the future, but for right now, that's the kind of thinking that you need to know here. The Cosmic Warehouse is 20,000 feet of square face that is uh, of, of empty space that persists across jumps that is yours to own that you can safely put um, that you can safely put stuff in and that it will be safe across adventures so you can access it at any point in time. There are some rules that you should be aware of. The Cosmic Warehouse by default is accessed via a special key. When inserted into any door with a lock, the door will open a gateway into the Cosmic Warehouse. You are the only person who can take the key out of the lock and the gateway remains so long as the key is in the lock. If the key is ever lost, you'll find it in your pocket a few minutes later. There are some other rules. So long as you are inside the Cosmic Warehouse, the doorway can be closed. Living people can't be stored in the Cosmic Warehouse. There is an exception to this that we'll talk about when we get there. Other people can enter the Cosmic Warehouse with you, but they leave when you do, even if they are not at the exit. So if you take your, let's say in a jump you have a sister, if you and your sister are putting stuff in the Cosmic Warehouse, when you leave the Cosmic Warehouse, your sister will also be shunted outside of it, even if she is not at the exit with you. When the door to the Cosmic Warehouse closes, time stops inside of it. Uh, only one door to the Cosmic Warehouse can be open at a time. Uh, there is a uh, very minor sort of exception to this. Uh, we'll talk about it when we get there. Uh, the gateway to the Cosmic Warehouse is only as big as the door that created it. By default, this is an empty warehouse. It is just a large space meant for storing things, but you do get a budget that allows you to redecorate it. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at those options. By the way, in almost any jump chain context, when you see the initials that are on screen right now, they mean choice points. They don't mean any, or they mean something like cool points or cold points. Basically, they're used to refer to the currency that is used to purchase things in jump chains, that kind of thing. The first options when it comes to the things that you can buy for your Cosmic Warehouse are utilities. These cannot be run to outside of the warehouse. So if you purchase the electricity and you have uh, an electrical warehouse that has all of the proper power things, you can't use that same electricity to power stuff outside of the warehouse, that kind of thing. Uh, the electricity option costs 10 choice points. It wires the warehouse with electrical outlets and light switches. Plumbing costs 10 choice points and installs running water and sewer pipes. This does not include a bathroom, but there is an option to get a bathroom, so just keep that in mind. Uh, heat and AC installs thermostats and temperature control system costs 10 choice points. 
Uh, the local net adds a secure link to the current universe's internet if it exists. So if you purchase this, you'll always be able to use the internet in your cosmic warehouse, so long as the setting that you're in has an internet or some sort of equivalent. So if you go from here to generic school years, which is a jump that is about being an elementary, middle, and then high school student before graduating and usually leaving the jump, but you can stay if you want to do some extra stuff slash take some extra options, then you will be able to go into your warehouse whenever you want in that jump and you'll be able to use the internet in that jump so long as the internet exists already, that kind of thing. Uh, force wall adds a force field to the gateway to seal the the entrance behind you what co costs 20 choice points and it makes it so that people that you don't want in the warehouse can't follow you into it that kind of thing gravity link uh, lowers or turns off the warehouse's gravity for easier heavy lifting costs 10 choice points uh, here are the next options are structures each one of these is a minimum of 2,000 square feet each but they can be larger if you wish the first option is free. It's shelving. It's basic metal shelves to keep your goods on, numbered for sorting purposes. Um, the next option is the terminal option. Makes it so that you have a computer system that tracks all items bought into the warehouse. Costs 10 points. The next option costs 20 points, and it's robots. These are an automated sorting system. These will store and retrieve items automatically. Uh, the Fourth option here is the housing option. It's a fully furnished home with hookups to all previously purchased utilities. 20 choice points, incredibly handy, especially at the beginning of a chain. It is very difficult to suggest someone should skip out on this. Uh, although there are plenty of housing items and different ways that you can get around this with no issue if you really want. But that said, very strong option. Workshop is a workspace full of tools and parts, good for fixing all sorts of things, costs 10 choice points. The final option here is the med bay. It's a fully functional medical bay. It can fix up anything that is still alive slash still has a pulse. So, so long as whatever you are trying to fix has not died, you can use this to fix them up. Costs 20 choice points. Another Another really good option. Uh, the final set of options here are miscellaneous. These are various quality of life slash utility upgrades, which provide you with a range of abilities slash extensions to your warehouse that you can use in a wide range of ways. The first one is the portal option, which replaces the key with a portal that can be opened on any surface. The maximum size you can make this portal is 80 square feet, costs 30 choice points. Um, so. I previously mentioned the rule of only one gateway being open to the Cosmic Warehouse at a time being a sort of soft rule. The soft rule here, the thing that breaks it, is Link, which already requires Portal, so it would cost a total of 60 choice points, 30 for the Portal, and then 30 for the Link. It allows you to open two portals and use the warehouse as a way to fast travel between two different places. So if you go from here to, say, a generic cubicle jump, and you want to have a way to fast travel to your workplace from your apartment, you can just open a portal in a space near your workspace and then open one in your apartment and you can use those things to fast travel, that kind of thing. Stasis pod is the way that you can kind of get around the rule that you can't store living people in your warehouse. It allows you to take one person with you, uh, can be purchased multiple times and cost 20 choice points. This is a way to get people to follow Follow you across your chain without investing points in them, but they will have no sort of fiat backing. They will have no ability to gain any new, any new superpowers or anything like that. That said, can be very helpful, especially if you have some way of controlling someone and you have a powered being or a follower with some sort of unique ability in your pod. Free space doubles the size of your warehouse, can only be purchased once, costs 30 choice points. That allows you to go from having a 20,000 square foot space to a 40,000 one. There's also a variant of this particular um, supplement that starts you off with a 40,000 square foot space and you could use this to get an 80,000 square foot space. The food supply, a utility upgrade, not utility upgrade, the... the the food supply miscellaneous upgrade allows you to have a constant food supply enough to keep five people fed costs 10 points 
The loft allows you to stack structures on top of each other pretty freeformly, costs 10 points. The hard suit is a metal exosuit that doubles your lifting strength. This isn't supposed to be useful in a fight, but it is supposed to be useful for lifting stuff like cars and other heavier objects and storing them properly, costs 10 choice points. And the final option is the return option, which allows you to spend 10 more years in a world you visited before. Um, that is definitely a miscellaneous upgrade. I do think it's funny that that's here, but that is a way to allow you to revisit spaces you've jumped to before if that's something that you're interested in. Although many settings have more than one jump. Pokemon, for example, which assuming you're doing the most traditional chain you possibly can, would be the only jump that you have visited at the point that you acquire this has a multitude of different jumps that you can use to go to that world. The Elder Scrolls has a bunch of different ones that you can use to go there. Super Mario has a bunch of different ones that you can use to go there, that kind of thing. Although usually each one of those jumps is an isolated, closed off instance. So if you go to Pokemon and then you go to Pokemon, I think Pokemon Sun and Moon has its own distinctive jump. If you go from the Pokemon Trainer Jump to Pokemon Sun and Moon, and I might be wrong, it might not be Sun and Moon, uh, then the things that you did in Pokemon will not be remembered. The things that you did in the Pokemon Trainer Jump won't be remembered, but there's perks that allow you to change this. I myself have authored a continuity perk. It's in my High School Musical Jump that allows you to be remembered to the extent that you want to be remembered when you visit a setting that you visited before using a different jump dock. And obviously what that means uh, strongly depends on the sorts of things that you do in the jump and also any time differences. So if you go to Skyrim and then you go to Oblivion, it will be really difficult for people in Skyrim uh, to remember the stuff that you've done in Oblivion uh, because of the time differences. And also, if you go to Skyrim first, it will be impossible for people in Oblivion to remember you because Oblivion takes place chronologically before Skyrim. That kind of thing. But still, uh, this is one way to revisit a setting if that's a thing that you want to do. So just keep that in mind. Although it does cost choice points to be able to do that. So this has been the Cosmic Warehouse. This is a very handy supplement. It is narratively something that you get effectively for free. And it is a very fun and very handy way to have a space that is your own, to have a sort of true home that follows you across your chain, which can be very important. It can be a nice way to have a space where you keep tributes to your family and to your friends, things that remind you of the places that you've been and the sorts of adventures you've been on. It is also a very nice way to have a safe space if you like to go to survival-based jumps like generic castaway or Minecraft or anything like that where um, the world is one of the bigger obstacles and you need a zone to relax. That's part of the reason why it's really difficult to not recommend the housing upgrade, uh, the housing like purchasable option in the structure section, because having a safe fiat-backed home that you know you can always get to is something that allows you to ignore a lot of the worries and concerns that would come with traveling from world to world. This is especially true very early on in a chain. It becomes less true as your jumper becomes more powerful and gets different items, but if this is something that you get right after you complete your first jump, which is the default way that you're supposed to get it, then it is really difficult to not recommend something like that. I also really like uh, the electricity and the food supply items. Um, my jumpers tend to get things that make them not need to eat fairly quickly. So my jumpers tend to be able to ignore certain parts of this. Um, but if you are someone who wants to create a mundane sort of cosmic citizen jumper who is just a normal person who goes from setting to setting and is still fundamentally human, just like with a few extra abilities and a wide range of skills and knowledge, then having these sorts of options is incredibly handy. That said, we're going to go ahead and end the video here. We are getting back to creating jump chain content, and I'm so excited for that. I hope that you all are having a truly wonderful day, and I cannot wait to see you again. Uh, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.